Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I hope you got that. <laughs> They don't rate them here. Why don't they rate them? Because, I don't know. There's only like two trails here. A little bit of a hill climb right here. This is just seems a little tighter than what we were doing at Brown's. Right here. <laughs> Giving the suspension a workout. For sure. Oh, it's so tight. <laughs> it is. Jeez. All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Oregon Motorcycle. As you can see, we're out tracking it again on the ADVs. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> we're up here at Lottie Flats. And we're on a trail. We've never been on this trail before, so we don't know exactly what we're in what's in store <laughs> turn turn oh this stuff is nasty yeah these are so tight holy shit Sweat. <laughs> That's the crazy trail, huh? It's so tight. It is tight. It looks like a straight line on the map, like. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Yep. <laughs> See ya folks up here at Lottie Flats. Up here in Sasquatch territory. <laughs> There's cougars up here too. Last time we were out in this area we found cougar tracks. Oh there's a really rocky section right here. Whoa. Oh man, big ass. Oh, okay, I can't. I don't think I can make that. I don't think you can. Yeah, we tap it out. Right here, yeah, come look at this tree branch. I think that's wise, especially with our both okay. of our skid plate situations. Okay. I don't want to land on that with my plastic. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of go slow to get some airflow going through me. All right, I'll catch up with you in a sec. I'm like, well, the video doesn't really do justice. Yeah. Whew. Getting tired standing up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking fun though. <laughs> I like the sound of this bike too when it chugs along. It's all brrr, like a tractor. 
Woo. Yeah, I mean, these whoops, man, or these berms, you can just Whee. rooster it. They're smooth as hell, too. <laughs> oh yeah sick <laughs> Woo. Woo. that's better running the other direction oh yeah all right, here's that other trail. Did you want to try it? Sure. If it's that, if it's more that like crazy tight. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. Stuff, then f that. I agree. That is some fun stuff right there. That section right there. That's the best stuff I've been on out here. Whew. You want me to go first? Sure. All right. Mr. Skid Plate. Excuse me. It's plastic. You got a little bit of metal in there. <laughs> Trail 806. Oh, this is 806? For those of you paying attention, yes, sir. Okay. It's on your map? Yeah. Doesn't connect to 805, though. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Going sideways a little bit uh -huh. there. <laughs> Those are definitely mud, pud mud puddles. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Just waiting to fill up. Yep. I'm like, ah, rain. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Something hit my foot on that jump, and I don't know if it was the swing arm that come back up or what. If it was my <laughs> my heel. Oh wow. <laughs> oh boy. Oh shit. <laughs> <sighs> Too fast over that one. A little bit, yeah. I just went with the flow, though. Whew. Not okay. too bad. Now, is this the trail we were on? Five. Okay, so we could just keep you in a circle. Yeah. So that was the way we went that way. All right. This is back at the start. Oh, oh I'm in way too high a gear. <laughs> So we must have been on 804. Was that what it was? I don't remember. I totally got spun around there, dude. I thought we were like just gonna do a, like a little circle or whatever. That was weird. Yeah, me too. None of this stuff is on the map, so who knows? Huh. What about the map that you got at the staging area? Uh, I think it's the same as the one I printed off, but I, we can check in a second. All right. Woo. Yeah. All right, guys, we took a little breather here. We we're having a blast on this track. This is dual track, whatever you want to call it. It's for quads and motorcycles only. And uh, I'm going to, we put the GoPro back here. So we're going to try some footage back here. Kevin's going to try to keep up on the KTM 390 Adventure. <laughs> but so far today, the, this 500 has just been pretty much running circles around them. No, I'm just playing, guys. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> it's not true. Everybody's all, rrr, rrr, just shut the video off right there. All right, I'm going out to buy a CB500. That's how you get the your YouTube comments for the analytics god. Yeah. If you're like, ah, KTM sucks. It's going to yeah. break down. Mm, yeah. Surprises it, are old and slow. I'm surprised it hasn't already. <laughs> Oops. 
Oh, he's got air. Yeah. My GoPro still on? Back there? I have no idea. <laughs> Slow down, I can play. Uh, yeah, I see the red light on. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I seen that. <laughs> Came in a little too hot there. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How could I not see that? <laughs> I sent it a little too much on that one, dude. Totally bought it out the front force. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh man. That was rad. <sighs> that was crazy. Pooped. Whew. Okay. All right, guys. Took our final break. We did our final run. We're gonna sign out here. It's getting kind of dark. Oh yeah, real quick. Look at the hop ups. This guy's going nuts. So he's got the rear rack on it. This is the KTM 390, in case you guys were wondering, in case you guys didn't figure that out. This is the one I've been running circles around all day on the CB500X. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, certainly. Um, so he's having quick shifter issues, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, he got the hand guards put on, he got the um, handlebars put on, he got risers put on, and new grips. And these look really, really nice. Real so nice. These, these are the uh, Cherubis X-Factor. Yeah. And then this is the Pro Taper Evo Adventure. Sweet. And then I had to switch out the handlebars because the stock ones are smaller than like a standard 28 millimeter size, like a fatty size. So the clamps wouldn't work with the, the bars and it was just this whole big thing. And these these clamps are just from a, an EXDF uh, 500 or 350. They just, they're a standard right. KTM part. Cool deal. And Got the SW Motec tank bag. The Enduro LT, for anyone wondering. Yeah, it's got the map where we're at up here. Yep. All adventured out on the 390. <laughs> so, and you and got side bags coming? 
Uh, no, I haven't decided on. I just got them just for crash protection and just mm -hmm. as another mounting point for this bag. Cool. Um, I haven't decided what rod I'm going to go because you can get you can get just like a plate that has a bunch of tie down points on it, and you can put Rotax on there, um, or you can get you can get the KTM. So these are the SW Motec ones, but they're exactly the same as the KTM Power Parts ones. So you can get either the KTM semi hard luggage, semi rigged semi rigged rigid. semi rigid luggage, or you can get soft luggage or whatever. So I got options. I got to decide what I want to do. And so we're slowly finding out that some of the KTM power parts are made by SW Motec. Yeah, like this this bag is the dry bag 80, but it just has a KTM logo on it. All right. So there you guys go. That's a little the seat. info for you guys. Oh yeah, you got Oh yeah, you got the seat too. It's yeah, a, the, the high seat. The high seat. So it comes up a little bit higher here. And I was sitting on it earlier. It was it's fine. It's much much more comfortable than the the stock seat. Is, so this one is it's like it's, it's kind of hard to see on camera probably but it's raised up it's domed in the middle um and the stock seat is like flat right here so okay. that makes it super uncomfortable oh. this one is just oh, so, this yeah. one so far is way more comfortable i noticed that it was more squared yeah on the edges this is more rounded okay okay yeah i noticed that when i did sit on it okay all right well that's going to end this episode folks so until next time Oregon motorcycle. Yeah, that was like the perfect amount of rain. Yep. That was like the perfect amount of trail too. Yep. Well, until that hill climb, but I think we could have made it. Yeah, we probably could have made it just fine, but I wasn't. Uh, I didn't want to risk it. Yeah, that's probably a good call. And we found the the loop and figured out where we were, so yep. it worked out pretty good. And we got that other trail to try. Actually, we got two of them, but you're scared of the blue one, dotted one or whatever, so I don't know if it's the quick shifter that's making you nervous or what.